Hey guys, this is Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm going to make a quick video on how to use the loft and the lathe, not lathe, the sweep tool in Cinema 4D. Um, the hedgeman created a, gla a wine glass, so um, I've been messing with lofting and sweeping, so uh, he says he'll make a tutorial soon, because it's really cool. So, um, if you don't know what lofting is, it's like extruding through points or um, 2D things. It's really common, commonly used in like SOLIDWORKS where um, people actually know what they're doing. So, um, generally you loft between two like shapes that are 2D because that's the definition. So anyways, what we do if we take uh, two circles like this, I'm just going to rotate them so you can see that. Rotate them. Okay. Let's rotate this 90 degrees. And if we make another one to loft through, uh, move it up a little bit, maybe make it a bit smaller. Uh, let's go with like 50. Okay. And let's make another one. Except we'll copy the bigger one. Come on. Okay. And we'll drag that on up. And we'll make this one slightly larger. 400 sounds good. And um, to apply loft, we go up here to our... Um, what are they called? But um, the little like hypernerbs and the options for that. So if we add a loft um, and just drag all of our objects into the loft like that. Not like that. Like that. Uh, we will have it lofted through those um, shapes. And um, sometimes you'll get something that looks like, like that. Maybe not the desired effect that you want. But that looks pretty awesome. That's a bowl. So, um, but you can uh, mess around with the order to get the uh, shape that you want. You can get something like that, or I was going for something like a vase, so that's um, what I would get for that. And um, you can change the um, amount of like uh, segments and stuff if you want to go ahead and edit it. Maybe um, add some more stuff to these segments. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for lofting. It's pretty easy, but really useful. So, um, yeah, just, uh, things. So, uh, the next thing I'm gonna go over is, uh, sweeping. Another very useful things, um, thing you can use. I used it on, like, uh, making an arm for a robot. If you, um, it can be used on, like, cup handles. And, um, basically just, you make a line and you just sweep based on a shape. For example, if we draw a, um, curve quickly say like not too crazy like that so you know, like an arc kind of thing um to sweep that you need a um you need a shape that you're going to sweep to so you need to sweep to a shape uh, if you want to do a square you can do a square i'll choose a circle and um basically all you have to do is position your um the object you're sweeping to uh at like a 90 degree angle and I'll probably make this a little smaller, it look like 20, like that, and just 90 degree angle over the um, object that we're going to sweep. So um, the next thing, very simple again, if you just go to your um, actions window and choose sweep and drag both of these objects into the sweep, it will, um, it will make a sweep to the shape that you want and it sweeps to the um, curve or line that you made. And again, for this, uh, if it looks kind of weird, like that maybe, um, I don't think that's what you want. So um, you might need to just switch up the uh, order. Usually the thing that you're sweeping, um, I'm sweeping in a shape of a circle, so that goes on top and then the path is right below it in the sweep um, function up here. Um, so that's pretty much it, uh, sweeping, sweeping and lofting, really easy and uh, useful techniques, so um, I hope this helped, thank you for watching, this has been Eat Sleep from the Techies. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that's interesting. Thank you.